Aside from turtles and snails, another well-known animal that carry their homes in their back is the hermit crab. The terrestrial hermit crab belongs to subphylum Crustacea and order Decapoda and are often found in coastal tropical regions around the world. Though most of their lives are spent in land, they still need access to the sea to breed. These creatures are omnivorous scavengers, meaning they eat everything, whether it is a plant or an animal material. The specimen that I have right now is already preserved in alcohol for three months, along with my other collection. So, this specimen is not any more ideal for dissection because its internal organs may not be that intact. However, we can still study its external anatomy. Perhaps the most noticeable feature of this animal is its shell, which originally came from a gastropod. As this animal grows, it will find another larger shell that will protect its soft abdomen and maintain moisture within its shell. Next, we have the cephalothorax which is comprised of the head and the thorax of the hermit crab. The cephalothorax is covered by a hard protective chitinous carapace. The cephalothorax houses the heart, the ostium, the esophagus, the optic and cephalic arteries, the anterior midgut cecca, the ganglia, and other vital organs. Now, in the front, we can see two pairs of sensory organs important in collecting information regarding its surroundings. The longer outer pair is the antenna, which is used to touch and feel what is in the crab's path. The inner bent pair is called the antenu, which is used in tasting and smelling. Another prominent organs are the compound eyes, supported by the movable eye stalks, which are quite adept at picking up fine environments. On the sides of the thorax, just above its limbs, is the branchial chamber. Inside it is the reduced gills, which are used for breathing. For it to function for gas exchange, the branchial chamber must be moist enough. Otherwise, the hermit crab will suffocate and die. Then, we also have the maxillipeds, also known as the mouth parts, which functions in moving food into the mouth. The maxillipeds are three pairs of appendages, which are also used by the crab for grooming. The hermit crab is a decapod crustacean, meaning it has ten limbs, which are composed of chilipeds and pereiopods. The frontmost limbs are called the chelipeds. These chelipeds are claws used for grasping and pinching. The larger left claw of the chelipeds is primarily used for defense, and if the shell fits just right for the crab, it can also seal off the opening. The smaller right claw is primarily used for feeding and scooping water up to the maxillipeds which are then moved to the mouth. The remaining legs are called the pereiopods. The second and third pair of legs are the only pairs used for movement, while the fourth pair is for moving in and for moving out of the shell. The last pair is used for cleaning the gills and removing the excrements from the shell. We can distinguish the crab's sex through the presence of gonopores, which are located at the base of the third pair of legs on a female. Males, on the other hand, do not have a gonopore. Since this specimen doesn't have any gonopore, then it is a male hermit crab. Another prominent feature connected to the cephalothorax is the soft abdomen also referred as the tail. The abdomen, which is housed by the shell, contains the gonads, the midgut gland, 
the abdominal ganglion, the posterior midgut cecum, the anus, and other vital organs. If this is a female specimen, it would have pleopods. The pleopods are appendages located on the left side of the female's abdomen used for carrying eggs. At the tip of the abdomen, we can see the uropods that functions in securing the crab within its shell. At the tip, we can also observe the telson, or the posterior most division of the body of an arthropod. This contains the anus. And lastly, around the crab's body is the hard outer protective layer called the exoskeleton, which the crab sheds in molting. Around the exoskeleton of the hermit crab, we can also observe several sensory hairs called setae. Though commonly treated as pets by some, these cute animals are not just pets. They play an important role in the ecosystem. The hermit crabs, the terrestrial ones, are notable sea dispersers, debris scavengers, and decomposers in coastal forests. Indeed, evolution truly blessed us with these fascinating invertebrates.